On June 14, 2009, a special investigative unit infiltrated the Ahram Mosque in Orlando, Florida, a Muslim Brotherhood founder of Hamas front organization. What they uncovered was an international conspiracy to fund Islamic terrorism from within the United States via George Galloway, Imam Mahdi Bray, and Imam Muhammad Moshri. One year later, federal, state, and local authorities have granted permission to release the video. So begins some very scary audio by the Florida Security Council, which helped to infiltrate a mosque in Orlando, Florida. And we're going to talk about now exactly what they found, because joining me is the director of the Florida Security Council, Tom Trento. Mr. Trento, welcome to Aaron Klein Investigative Radio. Hey, good to be here, Aaron. Are you the crazy guy that they were talking about in the beginning here? <laughs> Apparently, I, I love how the, the introduction to my own show actually questions whether I'm crazy or not. <laughs> well, you know uh, what? But, uh, we're fighting. Go ahead. It, yeah, so it, talk, talk about some crazy stuff. We're going to get into this audio from a, a mosque inside Florida. But first, I, I want to identify some of the players here. Tell us um, which organizations were involved in this fundraiser. Uh, well, yeah, let me tell you on our side, the, the, the driving force was Jerry Gordon of uh, a good guy. This was a good guy of the New English Review. Florida Security Council uh, is participating in it, and, and Mark Campbell, our storyline editor, put it together. In this particular mosque, the Al Rahman Mosque on Goldenrod Road in Orlando, a team went in, and there were three individuals. And we like to refer to these three guys as the three, you ready for this? Don't forget, it's Orlando. The three Musketeers, okay? Mm -hmm. and, and here's who we have. We have um, Mahdi Bray, well-known Muslim fundraiser and uh, activist. We have the Imam of the al Rahman Mosque, Mohammed Musri, who uh, I would refer to as, uh, as Al-Qaeda in Armani, if you will, metaphorically. And the third Musketeer is... Uh, a good friend of yours, Mr. George Galloway from uh, the United Kingdom. Yeah, George Galloway, UK member of parliament, kicked me out of his offices in 2006 and accused me of infiltrating a, as a radical activist disguised as a reporter all because I called Hamas a terrorist organization in an interview with Galloway. And he didn't just kick me out, by the way. He deployed the British police and tried to have me arrested. The whole thing caught on tape. I played it before on this program. So we're identifying now there was a fundraiser at this mosque in Orlando on Sunday, June 14th, 2009. And we just identified Mohammed Mahdi Bray of the Muslim American Society Freedom Foundation. He was, uh, it was his fundraiser at this mosque in Florida. I want to play for you right now audio just, just to get the background of Mr. Bray. This is audio of an individual who it turns out was raising money for Hamas and was a Hamas supporter in the United States and he is speaking we're gonna hear what he has to say and there's video of this and in the video you can see Bray raising his hands in support let's play clip number two please I have been labeled by the media in New York to be a supporter of Hamas anybody support this Hamas here? Yeah. Anybody is a supporter of Hamas here? Yeah. Anybody is a supporter of Hamas here? Yeah. We are all supporters of Hamas. Allahu Akbar. That was October 2000 in Lafayette Park, Washington. Now fast forward to Sunday, June 14th, 2009, and a fundraiser is held. Uh, where does the is the where did they claim the money was going to go? For this fundraiser that's being held, it turns out, for George Galloway's organization, Viva Palestina Organization, which was raising money for the Gaza Strip. Wh wh how much money did they raise, and where did they say the money was going to? Well, they raised that night in Orlando $55,000, and the individuals who audio you were just playing, Ala Moody, he's now a guest of our federal penitentiary system, but Mahdi Bray was there raising his hand, this was back in 2000, agreeing to be a Hamas Hezbollah supporter. Mahdi Bray, nine years later in Orlando, was raising his hand, pointing to people in the crowd like an auctioneer, who'll give 5,000, who'll give 10,000, who'll give 10,000? 
raising Yeah, indeed. Actually, let's out. play clip number three of, Ma of Bray raising money for this organization. We're going to tell you exactly where the money went. So clip number three, please. This is inside the mosque uh, in Orlando. And you spoke in Northern Virginia, and I actually came up on the challenge. You said we want to send over, and uh, Brother George said, let's send a convoy with the U.S. flag. Well, we've got the equipment. We're going to send it, inshallah. We're going to know if your movement, being on Palestinian, shipping from here from Florida to New York, and from New York to Egypt, and from Egypt, we're going to put it into Gaza, inshallah, God bless you. What you have on every year is here. You have to make sure that you really play about what your mission is here. I came to raise money for this particular affair. Who will give, pledge, donate, raise, commit tonight for ten thousand dollars? Who will it be? Take It was hard to hear, but that was audio of Bray raising money inside this Orlando mosque, June 2009. How much money did they raise? Uh, they raised 55000 and, and if you play the, if your viewers or listeners play the, uh, the video, it's pretty clear on the video. Plus, we have uh, captions. $55,000 in a matter of like an hour. And they made no bones about it, Aaron. This money was going to Hamas, plain and simple. So then, George Galloway, if there's any question about exactly where this money is going, George Galloway pops up in the Gaza Strip, where he gives this, this massive ceremony. He's flanked on two sides by the uh, top leaders of Hamas in the Gaza Strip. And uh, let's play some audio, clip number four, of, uh, of George Galloway and, and talking about where he's giving his money. Clip number four, please. Whatever we brought... We will give tomorrow, inshallah, at 10 o'clock in the morning. We will give all our vehicles, our keys, our aid, our money to Ismail Haniya, the elected Prime Minister of Palestine. I personally am about to break the sanctions on the elected government of Palestine. We are giving this money now to the government of Palestine. And if I could, I would give them 10 times, 100 times more. Ismail Hinea is the Palestinian Prime Minister of Hamas. He is standing there with Hamas. When he talks about the elected government of the Palestine, he is talking about Hamas, and this is the same George Galloway who was kicked out of Canada or not allowed into Canada because of support of terrorism. Again, the same George Galloway who kicked me out of his office because I dared to argue with him about whether Hamas is a terrorist organization. Now, now the mosque, don't they claim, don't they say that the money went to vehicles in Gaza or, or medical equipment in Gaza? Well, who knows what they claim? They claim all types of things, but the Supreme Court recently expanded the Patriot Act, which was sufficient for designated terrorist organizations providing material support. It is de facto a crime that you are watching in that video with these people participating, raising this money. And we're astonished. All we are, regular people. We don't work for the government. We're regular schmoes running around trying to save America. We're putting this information out there so that the federal authorities and the administration would say, what the hell is going on? We have to do something. But you know what, Aaron? I have found that the, when it relates to Israel, there's an incipient sort of uh, a subdued anti-Semitism coming from our administration, not moving quickly to prosecute anybody helping Hamas. That's what we are Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. This actually connects to the Obama administration and to some very radical associates of Obama. We're going to go over that next. We're playing some of the audio from inside a mosque in Orlando, Florida, raising money for Gaza with George Galloway, the same Galloway who is in Gaza handing out cash to Hamas at a ceremony. And this actually, Tom, this connects to the Obama administration 
and to deaths at sea, and to Obama's close associate for years, Bill Ayers, founder of the Weatherman Terrorist Organization, and then Ayers' wife, Bernadine Dorm, and then Jody Evans, who's a financial bundler and fundraiser for the Obama campaign. It connects because George Galloway is the leader of the Free Gaza Movement, one of the leaders which sent that violent jihadist flotilla to the Gaza Strip intercepted by Israel. The Free Gaza Movement also, uh, let us not forget, Bill Ayers, Bernadine Dorn, Jody Evans, all members of the Free Gaza Movement, they actually led a protest that I reported on thoroughly on the streets of Egypt that turned violent because they wanted to march in solidarity into Gaza, eventually some were allowed in, they got in with the Prime Minister of Hamas. So now there are questions about investigations, uh, because there's a, a congressman, Brad Sherman, chairman of the House Subcommittee on Terrorism, he actually, he sent letters to the Attorney General, Eric Holder, also to Hillary Clinton, and to the IRS Commissioner, Douglas Shulman, all demanding an investigation into George Galloway, and this incident for raising money for Hamas. So uh, do, you, do you expect the Obama administration to investigate this mosque in Orlando, Tom? Well, Aaron, let me, let me complete your circle, because for your, your listeners, it's a phenomenally uh, intriguing circle. Not only do we have Galloway interfacing with Hamas and with Obama's friends, but we have this particular mosque in Orlando, the Ahraman Mosque, Essentially, if you follow the Locoso Nostra type flowchart, this mosque is owned, owned and controlled by Hamas. So it starts in Orlando with Hamas through Hamas functionaries and ends up in Hamas and now lands in 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. And Brad Sherman from District 27, Democratic congressman sitting on the subcommittee for terrorism, can't get the attention of his own president on an issue as direct and damaging as this. You tell me what's so going on. So you don't expect an investigation? Um, uh, we are going to, and, and you and I and our group should join together on this. We're not letting this down. Brad Sherman is frustrated. We're going to pick it up from here. We're going to pursue the federal people. We're going to try to work with Mr. Sherman's office, and we're going to get some answers to this situation. Thank you very much for being here on... Aaron Klein Investigative Radio.